What's up, Wolfpack? I'm Ashley Borton. And I'm Matthew Wing. Today is March 11, 2021, and we're here with your Wolfpack news. First up is sports with John. What's up, Wolfpack? I'm John Sheehan, and this is your weekly sports update. Remember that interview I had with Assemblyman Jim Cooper a couple weeks ago? Well, the let them play lawsuit that he was a part of is now in effect. After football, soccer, water polo, and lacrosse were allowed to resume two weeks ago, the indoor sports of volleyball, basketball, and wrestling still awaited Governor Gavin Newsom and the California Department of Public Health's permission to compete under protocols already in place at the college and professional sports level. This is an awesome thing for most athletes all across the state being able to have some normalcy back in their lives and play the sports they love. The 2021 Major League Baseball season is quickly approaching and teams are beginning to make decisions regarding fan attendance. The Texas Rangers announced on Wednesday a plan that significantly differs from other clubs. The Rangers are planning to allow full capacity of fans to start the season. The Rangers will allow 100% occupancy with mask required, for fans at Globe Life Field for their opening day game on April 5th against the Blue Jays and a couple preseason games as well. That's all I have for you today, Wolfpack. I'm John Sheehan, and this has been your weekly sports update. Thanks, John, for the update. Next up, we have Kent with a review of the Soul movie. I'll be doing a quick review in a movie soul, and I'll try my best not to include any spoilers. It's a Disney Plus exclusive that was released on December 25th, 2020. It features Jamie Foxx playing as Joe Gardner, who's the main character of his own story, and Tina Fey who plays 22, a child soul who thinks she knows a lot more about Earth than Joe does. Now this is definitely a Pixar movie that is different from the rest. It tackles many concepts that humans struggle with, especially with what is the meaning of life for example, and appreciating what life still has to offer. Though it may be more difficult for younger children to understand the point of their existence. It's still a very enjoyable Disney Pixar movie with a great story and lovable characters. Joe Gardner wants to be able to make it in the music industry and have his big break, but that is obviously postponed by his unfortunate timing of death. This leads to him going to the great beyond or this version of heaven or the afterlife. In his desperation to get back to Earth, he meets 22, a hopeless child soul who seems to not want to get her Earth pass and be born on Earth. This movie is a very subtle movie that has deeper meanings waiting to be discovered by those who are seeking answers in their own lives. And it even includes jokes like this. You can't crush a soul here. That's what life on Earth is for. I personally found myself watching the movie twice just to understand the concepts and ideas that Soul was trying to convey. If there's one thing I could change, it would be to change the targeted audience from children to people who have an understanding in life because these type of things can simply go over a child's head while they're watching cartoons simply made by Disney. Now perhaps it is because of its release during a global pandemic that has not gotten the recognition it deserves, but I truly think that this movie is underrated. I would even say that this movie is on par with that of Inside Out, since it gives us the same emotions and underlying meaning in life. Overall, I think it's a great watch for any family, adults, and children alike, people who are anxious for the upcoming future and do not know what to do with their remaining time on Earth, and even those having an existential crisis in their lives right now. I give it a solid 6 out of 7. Thank you, Kent. Next up, we have announcements. Please note that we will have a revised bell schedule starting April 1st and it will be the same for both students in distance learning and the concurrent model. All concurrent model students and all junior senior students will need to pick up a Chromebook from the the school during textbook distribution the week of March 22nd. That's all we have for you today, Wolfpack. Remember, the strength of the pack is in the wolf, and the strength of the wolf is in the pack. Have a good day, Wolfpack.